reason because I was born in China and I grew up until I finished my art college, then I went to Japan. So I stayed in Japan in uh, about 30 years, then two years ago I come to the United States. So um, my work is uh, keep changing for a long time, but so um, recently, a couple, maybe like uh, three, four years ago, I think it's a, finally I think I found myself, it's how I really want to work for and found some meaning. So I, I would love to first display a little bit of my work uh, with you. Did you say you were born in China, lived in Japan? It's 10 years ago.
ago, uh, in San Francisco, I have a one solo exhibition. And they have a six section about the, the title of the show is the viewpoint. And I have a six section, I have a, a last image there, but I'll show a little bit more. <coughs>
So this one This section, um, I try to <coughs> emphasize the dynamic thing. Uh, that's for be a woman artist, then you feel a lot of things. It doesn't matter about uh, people talk about you, what kind of art. You are a feminist artist, I never want to label my art. So it's not about you have to against something, but you feel something that's strong in your heart, and you feel somehow it's something be dominant. But it's a, you don't know what, how, how much right you have. But when you do art, you can be honest. So you can be something you really feel uh, you want to say, but you don't need to worry about people who are judging you. Then that's why this is So this same group is part of them.
and the oil service just same size. Well, actually, cannot really see because this other room, I have one video there. It's all about smoke. When the smoke, the end, it come to zero. So the zero meaning the shape is kind of like body, um, and also they come to beginning to ending. They kind of is like a balance for me. So it's a lot of work. Um, it's because it's Chinese culture. So they talk about balance, about you know, it's a whole you from beginning to ending, from zero, is, is uh, come to everything. So that is part of is my culture too. But it's in a deep, deep level to understand how it's Chinese to understand. But it's hard to explain to people. It's in the art, it's Chinese art artist, or Japanese artist, or um, American artist. So my artwork is kind of like everything together. Then in different way, uh, people, some people thought my art kind of like Japanese. The reason because they feel something be controlled. So kind of like uh, feel, somehow you feel you have to be, it's try to be patient, be perfect, but actually it's not perfect, not real perfect, and you try to be. So that's the way, I, even I didn't realize, but people told me, I said, oh, that's my, my work is just show that, it's very natural. when you say together, it's from smaller to bigger, from one to six to bigger, then from bigger to smaller. So like it's one uh, kind of like process, kind of like period. So it's part, part of it's like woman's body part too, like you, how to feel is your life process. three days I could not sleep because I don't have time. The, the reception is the day I have already scheduled. So in a couple of days, you have to finish the whole thing. The gallery is pretty big, <coughs> kind of like five, five, five times than this, but, but in the other city, you have to work for, for the detail. So you don't have time to sleep. That's really, it's, a, it's making your energies come out, but you don't feel tired. And also, uh, somehow you feel it's resulted because uh, in some ways it's good for you. For, for myself, I think I've done something for myself. It's feel in your body, something come out, you feel kind of like you, you know, it's a, you feel you balance, everything is go. And that's part of this job. So I, I really don't know it's, uh, how to explain that time I feel. It's feel tired, feel happy, feel kind of feel it's part of angry too because not a lot of people can help you. Yeah, that's basically one uh, my my solo exhibition. It's a three years ago, but now I'm still continue different kind of work. But it's relate, relate together. It's continue for different way. But I never try to um, to push myself to have to do something. And also, I don't want to be people how my life, uh, my work is belong to what kind of group. I really don't like it. Because I, I try to be honest to myself first. If I don't like the work, I never want to show people. But why show people? Maybe some people is very, you know, it's they they hard to accept. So one this time the show because I I show in the place is a Chinese culture center in San Francisco. 
if he was shooting in New York or San Francisco, some Main Street Gallery, probably it's no problem, but there is Chinese culture center. So people have an image about Chinese culture. They want to go to the gallery and see beautiful flower or kind of stylish the, you know, landscape. But when they see that, that they say, what is artist? Is a Chinese artist or something? So this kind of is come to a little bit argue. But I'll be say is people have a, a little bit judgmental about is how you belong to you belong to Oriental art. So it doesn't matter Chinese or Japanese. Then you'll you'll be a woman artist, so how much you can challenge yourself. Then I found this somehow is a I feel good because I did, but somehow I feel it's a little bit confused. Why is people re really judge judge art in a certain way? But for myself, I never. I, I think the art you can be really that's very freedom space. You can do a lot of things you really cannot do. So that part is give some uh, something like a proposal. You don't have to be right. You can be wrong. You can be something ugly. Then people can like it. Don't like it, accept or not. But at least you can give people something you can think. So like my personal case, I come from this country, that country. So I have to deal a lot of things. Same time I confuse and uh, hope. Sometimes I have a lot of hope. But later you find it's hopeless. So it's very this point. Then you find a lot of contradiction. It's how to use struggle, especially when you be a warm artist, and then you change it to everything in like a different country, different culture. Then your identity change too. You'll be a woman, first you'll be a mom, you'll be a you know artist, then you have lost lots of responsibility. Then in the same time you feel your body somehow is inside you want to come out. So the art is part of it in a way. Just like just like it's medicine. Well I, I, I don't know how to explain. Just like you found the right way to make the goal. So I really don't know how people judge my artwork. Then, but I feel it's do something. First, I have to really have a real voice. You have to find this original voice. It's to be honest. That's the only way you can do. So it's better you do something. Better than you do something. It's very good, good skill. So you learn many, many years. Of course, it's easy to show people your really good hand. So can do something. Well, maybe you can easy to sell, sell your painting, your artwork. But it's a doesn't mean a lot for myself. So that's I just kind of like forget that before the work. So I learned many years of work. Then now I don't do it anymore. So I continue something I can talk to myself. Then part of it's the culture is uh, influence myself. So I think it's it's not alone by myself. A lot of people come from different cultures, especially like uh, California. People immigrate come here. Then they all have a different background. So if you find the own own way to show yourself, especially when you're artist, you are be an artist, you find the own way, so something will be happening. Then that's you know it's a basic talk. So I try to because my language is not that fluent, so I just want to make a little bit sure. It's okay. Thank you.